Good evening, Diesel fans. I'm DB Jones with Diesel Power Source World News, where we bring you the latest and greatest of diesel performance from all around the world. There's been a recent string of failing stock 6.7 turbos across America this month. On-scene reporter Roland Cole has been investigating this disturbing issue, and here's what he's found. So, DB, it turns out that the latest surge of failing stock turbos on the 6.7 Cummins is a common problem that is primarily due to design. I'm here with local Tony Smith, a hot shotter by profession and a gamer by night. Mr. Smith, please tell everyone what had happened to you. Well, 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 you see, it was a crazy situation. I was hauling a big load of dirt up the canyon and my stock turbo got stuck. It was terrible. We had to call a big tow and we were down for weeks. It was a nightmare. Apparently, this stuck turbo syndrome, or STS, is a pretty common problem that may occur anywhere between 60,000 and 200,000 miles with the 6.7 Cummins. 10-4, back to you, DB. Thank you, Roland. We have with us today Dr. Noah Serge, who's going to talk to us about the stuck turbo syndrome pandemic that's been sweeping the nation. Hmm. So, doctor, why is this happening to all these innocent victims? You see, the buildup of soot over time in the sliding mechanism of the stock VGT is prone to causing it to stick. When the sticking occurs, it may also cause the electronic actuator to burn out as it continues to try and adjust the stuck parts on the turbo, thus leaving the victim or truck owner infected with a bad case of stuck turbo syndrome, or as we like to call it in the industry, STS. What is the best option for victims that have STS once they have contracted STS? Huh. The only sensible, cost-efficient, and effective solution would be a DPS third-gen swap kit, which comes with a performance turbo and a high-flow exhaust manifold. Thank you, Doctor, and stay classy. Feature Story To further help us understand the solution, Diesel Power Source news anchor, Huge Idiot, spoke with Diesel Power Source spokesman, DB, about how to cure yourself of STS. When your turbo first sticks, you panic, and you don't know what to do. DPS member, DB Amitz, Nothing is as frustrating as when your stock VGT first sticks. But this midlife crisis diesel enthusiast says STS is not the end of the world and that there is a good solution. It's simply the DPS third gen swap kit. It comes in S300 or S400 turbos and it's performance based. The stock turbo is not performance based. The third gen swap kit is basically a turbo and manifold swap with a few other parts made to bolt up right up to the stock setup. It's much less expensive and easier to install than the second gen swaps. You're going to improve your low end or your spool up and your overall horsepower and torque. It's going to give you better miles per gallon and definitely you're going to run cooler and reduce the black smoke. DB admits it is difficult to go through but encourages victims of STS to stay positive. <laughs> we are eradicating STS one truck at a time. For Diesel World News, I'm Huge Idiot. What a beautiful story. Here's Chief Meteorologist Stormy Guy to tell us about this week's weather. Stormy, what can we expect tomorrow? Well, not a lot of surprises this week. As for weather under your hood, if you have your stock turbo in towing, it's going to be hot. Partly steamy with a high around 1500 degrees with no chance of cooling down, but a good chance of melting or sticking a piston. That'll about wrap it up. Back to you, DB. Thank you, Stormy. That was quite refreshing. <laughs> and to round out our program tonight, we have some happy news. Two nights ago, we reported that there was a 6.7 Cummins driver whose stock turbo stuck while pulling his fifth wheel up I-80. Fortunately, since then, he purchased a DPS third gen swap kit. Everyone's safe now. He's headed back up the canyon to enjoy a weekend. Thank you for joining us tonight. Take care. Keep your diesel cool. DB Jones signing off. Good night. Who the hell farted? Ugh.